Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 5 of the Tank Tussles Season 2 Tournament. So in this episode, we do have the Goliath again, and, uh, my apologies, I meant to say in the first episode that I wasn't going to do the 0-3 rule, that I was going to get rid of that rule, uh, because arbitrarily removing a tank early isn't fair to the tanks that would have fought it afterwards, because if that tank is, you know, we weak to the point that it's going to lose to them, then I'm basically removing wins and kills from their record <clears throat> for no real reason. And, you know, that's that's not totally fair. So I'm not doing the 0-3 the, uh, retirement rule for this tournament. I meant to say that in the introduction of the first episode, but I did multiple takes of that, and it seems like the one that got in, I forgot to say it. So, yeah. Anyway... The Goliath is going up against the Hammerhead by Relego, which is uh, a fairly unique tank with its uh, two different guns. It's very long, uh, thin, long but thin and tall design, necessitating these uh, little wing wheels. <laughs> it's got training wheels, basically. But uh, it's definitely an interesting tank. Very big turret cap up here. It's probably got most of its guns in here. And you can see it's it's just a large tank overall. With the, uh... You can see how big the doors are there. Um... Uh, so, yeah, but it's, it's mostly long. Like, its biggest dimension by far is length. I don't think there's anything interesting on the other side. Nope. Oh, is that a stone underside? That's... That's dangerous if explosives manage to sneak underneath there. But yeah, that is the Hammerhead by Relego. This is going to be its debut battle. So let's go ahead and uh, get it underway. Oh, Hammerhead shots all dunk into the dirt. I don't think it has its uh, required accuracy before firing set properly. Oh, Goliath took a hit there to the turret. Its barrel has been destroyed. Well, not destroyed, but damaged anyway. Oh, and it ex Well, and now it exploded. This is the uh, Goliath's fifth battle, though, so it will be retiring after this one, and... It, uh... It is behind by more than 25%, and somebody commented I keep forgetting about that rule, but I haven't been forgetting about it. The rule is you have to reach and maintain a 25% lead, so it's not like as soon as you get a 25% lead... Uh, you win the match. There's gotta, it's got to stay there for some time. And it's definitely staying there this time. So the, uh, the Hammerhead has, uh, it has won this match, because even with the repairs, yeah, it's definitely maintaining that lead. But I do also like to just watch tanks get blown up. <laughs> That secondary cannon seems to be some sort of high explosive. I don't know if it's heat or like an APHE or not sure. I don't remember. I looked at way too many tanks to remember what the ammo load at all of them is. It doesn't seem to be heat. So I'm not seeing any uh, heat particle fragment things. But anyway. The hammerhead by Relego winning that match quickly and handily. Let's see if it can uh, do the same thing twice. Oh, those shells were a lot better than the first round, so maybe it's just inaccuracy. And not the required accuracy not being said. It's like the second tank that I've had that happen to me with. Yeah, you can see those heat particles from the, uh, the Goliath's gun when it hits. The Goliath just does not have a good rate of fire. That's its, its main issue, I think. That and it's uh, a bit uh, explodey. <laughs> it has a tendency to go boom. And there we go. It has been destroyed. Well, not destroyed, but its turret's been popped. None of its guns are functioning. Oh, wait, no, the secondary gun's still functioning, but.
But, uh, well, now it's AI dead. <laughs> Twenty-five percent rule is more of a. It's not like, like I said, it's not like you win as soon as you get a twenty-five percent thing. You have to maintain that lead. Uh, so it, it's, you know, it has to last a little bit. It's more just to keep us from staring at a tank that has obviously lost for three minutes. Like say if somebody's using like. Like with the hammerhead or the Goliath, you say they're using just a really heavy heat shell that doesn't do much hull damage, but they blow off the turret and you know, but they've got second little secondary guns that are still fighting. It's like, well, we can sit here and watch the fight for the next four minutes and and have the same result, or I can declare a victor for the by the 25% rule. But yeah, so uh, the hammerhead by Relego is the definite victor here. Easy, easy victory for it, and that will be the end of the Goliath's run, so make sure you go ahead and head down into the description to uh, do the approval vote. If Based on the aesthetics, uh, engineering, and fighting style of the Goliath, do you think it deserves a spot in the Grand Finals? Uh, simple yes or no, and uh, that'll be it. Do the same thing for the Hammerhead. Uh, it'll be down there, too. Also check out my uh, Discord and Patreon links down there. All that good stuff. But yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.